Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K in existence, and I'm gonna show you the top jump shots in season five, NBA 2K23, next gen and current gen. We're getting right into the video. So make sure y'all drop a like, cause your boy not gatekeeping all video, man. And look, man, I know another jump shot video but look what y'all don't understand is people struggle to shoot on every 2k i play with randoms a lot i really do okay like i really do so i know 99 percent of y'all's pain because you don't have a teammate none of you can shoot no one can shoot even in 2k22 they couldn't shoot so watch this full video so you understand the best badges best setup best release time and the best jump shot so you can learn to shoot this is how you become a great player if you know how to shoot you're automatically a great player that's how low the skill gap has become in 2k <laughs> people leave you wide open especially if you're a random they leave you wide open bro if you can hit you win the game drop a like if y'all agree but anywho so tracy mcgrady came out season five great jump shot i think it has a smaller green window than something like o'shea but it's a nice jumper even like the my team guys they be using it uh the t-mac card or whatever and it's like immaculate okay is this is immaculate jump shot trust me use it try it out my boy two more things put your release time in on very late okay thank me later this matters i don't care what no one's saying release speed blah 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 bro bro it's easier to time with this especially with the delay you need as much time as possible it, uh, bro trust me it affects certain things it's like say for instance if this is on very early and i go play i'm not making a shot i'm adjust it to very late i'm not making a shot on very early this matters bro i'm telling you put it on very late thank me later and use no shot meter bro thank me later the meter will throw you off and look i'm gonna give y'all some small build jump shots too do not do not be worried bro so look here's another big build jump shot it's a nice jumper bro it's a good base you can really hit with this hoe you only need an 82-3. Test it out. Let me know how you feel. Now look, this shot right here, this is for big builds too. Even when you go 6-10 plus, use O'Shea Bursette, bro. If it lets you use it. Um, I think this is overall the best jump shot um, on next gen especially. Um, this is just, it's so easy. I think it's better than LaMelo. It's really easy to hit with this whole dog. Like, I, I really be butter, bro. Like, I play hella different modes, bruh. And this is overall the best jump shot I be using, man. I play Wreck, No Squad, Current Gen Park, Next Gen Park, play it all. Current Gen Stage, play it all, my boy. Here's a new jump shot that came out in Season 5, the JJ Reddick, man. Test it out. Great jumper, man. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite releases and bases and favorite jump shots below, man. Help, help everyone down below, man. And here is another dope jump shot for um under 6.5 builds. Test it out. Let me know. Make sure y'all subscribe if you want more uh 2K23 tips, my boy. If you want to shoot more consistent, if you are struggling. If you're not struggling and you can do without it, don't do it. But you notice a jump shot like... <laughs> You just notice more shots falling when you when you buy this. You know, 2K is pay to win, bro. That that's just how it is. I'm not telling y'all to do it. And also, if you get the Gatorades, bro, you know, they will help you because Gatorade is very important. The more stamina you have, the less your jump shot change, all this and all that. The easier it is to time and have a more consistent jump shot instead of it going to straight RNG and you uh, guessing what jump shot is about to happen and what animation you're going to get and trying to guess this other person's animation to you. It's ridiculous, right? But hey, man, also get gym rat, okay? Um, if you can't get gym rat, do your drills and make sure you get three star on everything so you get a bar to your... Um, your stamina that will help you greatly and then if you like buy two or one it'll it'll help you it'll help you get the double bar but again pay to win if you could do it out it you could do it out it man I, i'm just letting you know how it worked my boy now look if you feel you can't hit bro you can turn all of this off right that you know there there's a lag delay and um Hold on, how do I put this hole on none? You know, instead of one of these things, because they say it adds more lag delay to your 
to your guy. You know, it's a theory. It's not tested. But if you're struggling to shoot, you could test this out, bro. You can, um, like, just do none. You know, you can test this out. It's up to you. I don't do it. But you could do none. You can, uh, you know, I use this jump shot meter. By the way, do not use jump shot meter. Only play with no meter, bro. Don't use meter, okay? Ball trail, you could put this to none. If you feel like there's just too much lag delay, test it out. See if it works for you. And also, another thing. Here's another thing people do. The shot feedback. They turn it off. I don't do this. But it's just more lag delay, like, taking off the game. You know, that's why people do stuff like this. They do something like this. They turn it on none, you know. But then you can't see people's names. But it's up to you bro make sure your motion blur is off okay turn it off get your sound effects right man if it's too loud too low get it right i use very late my shot type and i have it on shots only um i don't really mess with the layup thing i make sure i have my vibration on i like that but it's up to y'all make sure you turn off your trigger effect too many of y'all have your trigger effect on you old heads i hear it through your mic okay i hear your 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 controller rumbling while you're not even touching anybody like bro it's a it's a vibrator it's a vibrator vibrator huh huh nigga you a grown man you got your controller vibrating in your hand turn this off bro you gotta turn it off in your playstation settings too so many people don't know this you got your trigger effect on it's going to mess up your shooting bro spread the message you know these are my other settings overall um i keep this on and i keep my who to guard on by the way i see people keep taking off who to guard stop it does not do anything okay you take it off it's not gonna pull you less keep it on just so you're aware because everyone else smoke like smoke. and yeah man here go the best badges hey, look. Here are the best shooting badges in general, bro. Okay, I don't have my shooting max on this build, but I'm gonna just show y'all something. Agent 3s is the best badge for main ball handlers, okay? The best badge, okay, bar none. It's not just fading. It's not just pull-ups, bro. It's stopping a uh, pop. It's everything. Every shot you take while like moving rhythm shooter, it's all combined into this badge. So if you are a main ball handler, put this shit on max, bar none, bro, okay? Um, even catch and shoot, when you're a main ball handler, you want this, bro, because you can shoot it instantly. And like, even with the fade shot, your catch and shoot's gonna pop up and the agent threes, and then you could catch them hoes even more everyone is leaving everyone open bro okay like all levels bro like especially when they think you're like drained of adrenaline and all that catch and shoot it, it changes your game completely bro especially if you are bad bro uh amped you know eh, you know they they say it reduces the penalty it, it's it's cool bro um and then claymore when you spot when you when you're spotting up you catch the ball and you wait and then you shoot this is more for spot ups but still this is still a good thing for a main ball handler you see i got it low and then the volume shooter i'm gonna eventually max out because you know it helps with every shot but limitless range you don't even need bro because of the limitless takeover i'm gonna show you bro look i can keep shooting from half court with this badge with the uh with the damn near seven seven what, what was my three point like a 76 three bro i can shoot from half court just with this badge on single like the single takeover and you can shoot from everywhere so you can save badge points without um even having limitless on you know it's still a good badge is it works it's it's a great badge but if you have like accelerator and just limitless you can just hit from limitless so you can save badge points and be smart i got a bunch of clips bro of uh 
me hitting from limitless. The dead eye, uh, you know, it, it ain't it ain't that it ain't it ain't what it used to be. Blinder, same thing. Corner, they say don't work. Some people say it do work. Green machine, they say it activate after the third shot until I hear otherwise. So it's not really as needed. Guard up. Some people say don't even work. Um, space creator, all dependent to your style and mini. But yeah. Your main badges that you want is a main ball handler, agent threes, amped, catch and shoot. And then you start to, you know, the volume shooter, then the claymore, and then everything else is all dependent on you. Now for a spot up, bro, you want catch and shoot max, claymore max. I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not too, I don't, I don't, I don't know about guard up, bro. For a spot up, you could do something like this, bro. Really, for a spot up, it's really like the same badges, bro. It, it really is, cause they say uh, corner specialists don't work. It's really like the same badges, man. To be honest, now maybe uh, I don't know about this dead eye and blinders, bro. I don't know, bro. I, I haven't been made a believer. A lot of people make a lot of tweets and stuff, but I, I I just haven't seen it. You can shoot crabs. People think it's blinders. You can shoot crabs without blinders and it be op like i don't think people are noticing a big difference from making it gold to uh you know i don't know bro basically between spot ups and um main ball handlers is you're just going to want to have clay more and catch and shoot more that's basically it bro to to keep it a hundred and of course these are going to be your main shit you know the catch and shoot and the claymore but you want to be able to fade and sometimes the game makes you fade so you want to have this badge on still this will be your third badge as a spot up that you will need and um y'all yeah. be sure to follow me on twitch man link is in the description make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week drink a gallon of water a day and click on one of these two videos but hey hey here we go again yeah again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome